Hey Tom, how are you? So I'm sending you this. Sorry, it took a little while. Got kind of tied up with some technical issues yesterday, but um, but here is your first lesson that we're going to look at. And um, on the left, I have the down the line view. On the right, I have the caddy view, straight on caddy view. And this is your original swing. So let's. Uh, I'm just going to play them for you. You've probably never seen it before in uh, super slow mo. So I'm going to play the two sides for you and let you see what your swing looks like to start out with here and then we'll have uh, something to compare it to as we move forward. So this is the um, caddy view that's going to start playing here any minute. Let me get this. There we go. Okay. There we go. Super slow-mo. Overall, I would say your swing looks really, really, really good. Um, you have a great potential here, so we can just um, fix a few little things and get some concepts in your brain so that you can manifest those in your swing, and you'll be playing real good, some real good golf. And then um, after we get the swing straightened out to where it should be, we can uh, get out on the course and work together with some uh, on some strategies of the game itself and playing the game itself and coming in with the lowest score which as you know in golf wins so that's your swing from a uh, from the caddy view and then from the down the line view this your swing looks real good from down the line here there's a couple of little changes that we're going to work on, but down the line, it's uh, it's pretty good looking. You come to the inside there, your club head stays, club face stays parallel to the path. Uh, I'm sorry, perpendicular to the path. That's great. Club face at the top is pretty square, so we don't have to worry about being open or shut. I have a tendency to come over the top a little bit on that uh, on the start of the downswing. We'll talk about that and work work on that a little bit. Boom! You can see it pulled a little bit from where the uh, aim point was, which was this flag there, but um, that's from that over the top move, but. Uh, Pretty good overall. Pretty good. All right, so let's uh, let me just uh, let me just show you something here that we're going to talk about a lot. This is a measurement of the movement of the body here as you go through the swing. So um, let's speed this up a little bit. You see what what happens on your head. Your head goes away out of the circle there, right? And then, as you come down again, you you bring your head back forward. Now remember, and the, and it's almost perfect when you get to impact. Although now it's tilting back again. See, so all that movement. Remember, see where your club hits the ground. In back of the ball here, remember when we talked about that and how one of the basics of playing great golf was hitting the ball first and then having your divot out in front of the ball and doing that every single time. Well, you can see your club is actually coming up on the ball and your um, and and your uh, uh, the line between the club and your hand is actually at an angle here, so your wrist is already broken at that point. And coming down here, when the club is parallel to the ground, we should have when you, when the club is parallel to the ground, um, you should have a lot more bend in these arms. In other words, that should happen when your arms are down in here somewhere. So you're pre-releasing the pre-releasing the club on the downswing, and that's what's getting you to past release by the time you get to impact. And your head moving around does not help that. So we're gonna 
we're going to work on that. This looks this looks very good, except for the fact that your head is a little bit back. Now, I'm not saying that that's back. Maybe that's where it should be, but then that's where you need to start it, and that's where you need to keep it the whole way. We'll work on that, but this is this looks really good. Now, I do notice that your hand, that your um, that your feet, before we started, your feet are pointing straight at us. Your knees continue to stay bent instead of that right one. Um, this is going backwards now. To, instead of the right one uh, uh, straightening on the backswing to let your hips turn. And that's why your arm has to break down here. You can see your arm starts breaking. Um, your arm starts breaking down right here. You have this beautiful straight takeaway. And then at this point, that's where your arm breaks down because you're, you can't turn anymore without doing that because your hips have it. Your hips are locked by your knee being still bent. If this knee straightened out right there, that was a straight line, then your hips would be turned more down. Okay? And remember, the shoulder down thing is another thing so that we talked about. Here, we can see over on this side, as we go forward, you can see over on this side, let me just draw this line from the beginning here. This. You can see from this side, that's pretty darn good so far. Pretty darn good. That's why I say down the line looks pretty, pretty snazzy. But here you start standing up, you see. You're standing up because at this point, this is the same point where your arm starts bending, see. That, right at that point, your arm starts bending because you're not turning. The shoulder doesn't keep turning down. If the shoulder kept turning down, that arm could stay straight and go and and so so that your shoulders could turn more without having to buckle that arm. Buckling that arm is a you know the, another uh, invitation for um, ha having a chaotic uh, bottom point of the swing. So you can see that you've stood up. This no. You're now on this level instead of at your original inclination. You're now going straight up this way. So, and then you bend back down to it here, which is, that's okay, actually. That's okay so long as you would not, so long as you would not have to get back down to that level. This stoop I like, right back into the same position, that's great. And at this point, the club's coming from the inside, which is great. But then your shoulders have turned so much that the club does come into the ball from the outside and across. So that's what makes the ball start to the left like that. Okay, And you can see you've once again stood up. So there's a lot of body movement going on that's uh, extraneous to the uh, movement of the swing. Okay? Otherwise, though, pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. If we look at your head position from this point, if I can get this like that, head position, see what I mean, how you're, you're standing up and moving back. Your whole body is actually moving back. That head's coming off of, we call this the wall, it's head's coming off the wall. And then it's got to get back, it's got to get back to it if you're going to get back to your impact position, but it never does. So I'd like this to be your starting position here. So we're going to work on that. We're going to work on starting you at the same position where you actually end up in at impact. Look at the difference. So that's hard to maintain perfect contact when you're this far off from where you started when you get back to uh, impact. Oh, pretty interesting, huh? All right. I'm going to put this on uh, pause for a second here. I'll be right back. Okay, now I've replaced the um, left side here with that first time I taught you the little punch drill so that we could work on the uh, impact position. And uh, let me just show you here. You did, you, you learned this really well. So here you can see that if you don't swing back far enough, that left arm stays totally straight, which is great. And then in this drill, as you come through at impact, Look at that. First of all, you hit the ball first and then the ground, right? Perfect, perfect impact. Look at your left wrist, straight down, right? 
Look at that. Perfect, Tom. Perfect. Your head's right where it should be in the back of the ball. And you compare that to the original. By the way, look at your difference in your stance. Doesn't it look so much more like a golfer over here? Huh? Your feet flared out a little bit. That weight on the left side compared to this bent over stoopiness. <laughs> and then at impact, look at the difference here. Look at that. This is impact right there. That's that with the little drill that you learned. This is what you were doing when we started. And this, of course, the club hit back in the grass back there, right there. And here, the club hit the ball first. So, major, major difference. And uh, at this point in the swing, also, you can see much, much better looking. Much better looking. Look at your head looking straight down at the ball. Arms both straight. There, your arms are starting to bend because, you know, you hit the ground. Your arms are starting to bend a little here after impact. So, good job on the drill. We'll work more on that and remember to just do it every time you can. Work on that drill. Hit the ball first. Keep those arms straight. Only go that far. You get the feeling of that and then we incorporate it into the total swing. We're going to be real good. Now let me um, uh, load in um, one of the uh, one of your swings after this is your full swing after we did the drill for a while after you did the drill for a while then this is what your full swing looked like here it goes it's when you left at the at the end of the lesson this was like a couple swings from the last swing that you took this is looking really good Look at this now, see? Look at that head. All right, let's go back and look at that again. All right, now you get a little bit further this time before your arm starts bending. So we're going to work on that. I'm going to tell you how to keep that from happening at the top. But look at this. This is so much better. And look at what a great looking stance this is compared to the uh, compared to the other one. And when you get back to impact, then still have a tendency. That's a good impact. It hit just a little bit behind the ball. And you can see why, because this started to break down. Remember how that lengthens the uh, circumference of the swing. And that's why you hit the ground. So, but it's closer. It's closer. It's not quite what we want. That, see the difference? But it's getting closer. <laughs> it's certainly better than the original. Let's go back and put the original on this side here. I love this. This is so much fun. Put the original on this side. Get rid of the line. So it looks better than the original. That's for sure. Look at your look at this stance compared to the original stance. Much more golfish. Feet flared out. Feet. This left foot could be flared out even more. Then we got to work on keeping those hands forward through the impact. But this is such an improvement. Look at that. Such an improvement. Right? And let me just show you one last thing here. On this, we'll get that little, uh, that little guy again over here. And we'll watch you go through the new swing. Look at this. Look at that. See what a better chance you have. What a better chance you have by keeping your head perfectly still. That's great, Tom, that you learned that. We're going to work some more on that. But that's fabulous. That's fabulous. Remember what this looked like over here before. Oops, sorry. I've got to change that. <laughs> Okay, this is what it looked like before. Look at that. <laughs> huh? Look at that. Great work. Great work. 
see how much more stable this body is. All right, that was great. So um, look forward to seeing you tomorrow. We'll work on some more stuff and uh, move you one step closer to being a great golfer. All right, take care. Bye.